Pat in Seattle listening on KBCS. Hey, Pat, what's on your mind today? Pat? Hi, Tom. Hey, Pat. What's up? Um, I have been wondering for a long time why the Democrats don't organize around the mission of climate change. You can do the jobs issue, the equality issue, the cultural issues between men and women. Um, people need a mission, and we can make industries sustainable and have the right industries uh, helping out the planet. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree with you, Pat. I think, though, that broadly we need to figure out exactly how to message this. Uh, up until now, the messaging has been um, basically scientific. If we continue down this road, if we continue with climate change as it's going, it's going to lead to massive cultural, economic, and human disasters, and, and disasters for basically all life on, on the planet. I mean, we're looking at something that could be that bad. And so, you know, we've got to do something about it. I think that that's actually starting to sink in. You're, you're now getting a few Republicans who are talking about climate change uh, in defiance of the Koch brothers. Uh, you know, and people are starting to realize that it's, you know, people like ExxonMobil and Koch Industries, you know, that make their money with fossil fuels that, of course, are going to be funding climate denying science and things. But I think the big thing that's happening right now that, that is, is going to help us is that you're getting, you know, cities. Uh, my brother was visiting from Michigan over the weekend, and uh, I grew up in, you know, he and I and my other two brothers, we grew up in Michigan. I don't, throughout my childhood, you know, from for all the years that I lived in Michigan, from 1951 to 1978, I have no recollection of a day, of any day, that went over 100 degrees. I mean, it just, you know, in, in Lansing, Michigan, it just, it probably did once or twice, but it was so rare. You know, you always, you, you think three-digit, you know, temperatures, that's, that's Phoenix, Arizona. You know, that's southern Texas. And now it's happening all over the country, and it's really hitting farmers, and it's really freaking out, you know, people. It's gonna, it's gonna have a big impact on food prices here soon, and I think that it, 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 it's reaching the point where it's unescapable. And so maybe we can just continue the economic or the uh, the, the climate disaster uh, discussion, because frankly, that's the purest discussion around this. Uh, you're right, though. You know, empowering local people by by putting by solarizing their homes. You know, Hawaii is running those ads now, the Hawaiian Power Company. We're going to have, you know, all solar power in Hawaii or all renewable power in Hawaii. Um, these are things that could be done. I think these are all good arguments that we can and should be making, Pat. Right. And the Democrats have not educated the public about it. Uh, well, as they, much as they could have. They actually, they, they try really hard, Pat. It's just that the media, the corporate media in America will not put, and we've had several Democratic politicians on this program complaining about this out loud on the air, will not put Democrats on the air unless they're willing to talk about Donald Trump. Yeah, uh, I know that. Know, or Russia. But you know. I think the, you know, the recognition is worldwide. Yeah. And um, it can have so many positive benefits that the Democrats are just not talking about. They get lost in the details. Yeah. And the science, you're right, isn't going isn't gonna to persuade people. It's well, I think, I think it may start to. And I think the, the fact that it's getting so damn hot out there is really starting to cause people to go, huh, really? So we'll see where it goes. Pat, thanks for the call. We just you know, need to keep up the, keep up the messaging. We'll be right back.